A warm welcome to parents, carers and our new intake of Broncliffe Academy students. I feel privileged to be welcoming you as the principal from September of this fantastic academy, where we are going to start our journeys together. Like you, I will be a new starter in September, and that means you are going to be an incredibly special year group for me over the course of the next five academic years. You may have some uncertainties and wish for some answers around what your journey is going to look like next academic year. We hope that this presentation and our transition videos, which will be available on our website, alongside our Meet Us transition event, will answer some of those questions. The Meet Us event will allow you an opportunity to meet with your form tutor and to meet with key pastoral colleagues to help you to understand what next year is going to look like a little bit more. You will also be able to come into the Academy and to see the processes and procedures that are in place during this dispensation. At Brunkliffe Academy, we can promise you dedicated and talented colleagues, both teaching and non-teaching. We are incredibly privileged to have the support of the Course Academy's Trust and within that, Chris Stokes, the Deputy Executive Principal for 11 to 16 Education, Leanne Griffiths, the Executive Principal 11 to 16 Education, and also Sir John Townsley, the Chief Executive Officer, will be available to support us throughout our journey together. We are incredibly passionate about ensuring that young people have every opportunity to succeed. We know that having access to nurturing learning environments where young people find and cultivate a love of learning is incredibly important. We do this through our positive discipline reward system. We ensure that young people are rewarded for all of their efforts that they put into their learning throughout their journeys. We also ensure that where behaviour becomes a barrier, that this is dealt with swiftly. And we do this through our positive discipline system. We also ensure that young people are supported where they do make mistakes and we together can learn and move forward. I'm in incredibly excited to talk to you about Purple Zone and you will find out more about that for our Meet Us Transition event. The Purple Zone is an opportunity for young people to feel challenged within their lessons, to build resilience and to build confidence. Young people can independently grapple every single lesson with a challenging topic. And that's really exciting and helps again to develop that love for learning. It's incredibly important to us to ensure that all young people are afforded opportunity to discuss and debate relevant topics. This is particularly prevalent through our forensic reading programme, but we also have available our Socratic Debate Society through our extracurricular programme and enrichment opportunities for young people. We want to ensure that everybody enjoys learning and we hope that through this process of transition, watching our videos online and coming in to meet us, you will feel that when you speak to members of staff. We are incredibly passionate about education and we look forward to working alongside you and your families in the future. Take care. We'd like to take the opportunity to introduce the Year 7 team. First of all, we have our SLT leader for year seven is Miss Brand. She's new to Brunkcliffe Academy in September and you would contact her for serious concerns or complaints. We then have Miss Ash, who is the academic progress leader for year seven. You would contact Miss Ash for any teaching and learning concerns you may have about your child, any concerns with the progress that they're making, or if you have any questions about the curriculum and day-to-day -day life in lessons. Next, we have the pastoral support officer for year seven, that's Miss Sutton. You would contact her for any matters around behavior, concerns of potential bullying, and any other pastoral support matters that you may have. Next, we have our attendance officer for year seven, Miss Thornton. You would contact her for any attendance concerns that you may have, inquiries about term time holiday, and reporting absences. Finally, in the Year 7 main team, we have Mr Diamond, who is the Inclusion and Safeguarding Officer for Year 7. You would contact Mr Diamond for any wellbeing concerns, parental support that you may need, and any counselling support that you would need with your child and the extended family. We now have our extended Year 7 team, which consists of Miss Holmes, the Key Stage 3 Behaviour Leader, Miss Sanders, our Senco, who is new to the Academy in September, Miss Bowes, our isolation leader. Miss Towell, our PLC leader. The PLC is our personalised learning centre. And finally, we have Miss Kelliger, who is an LSE leader, which is the learning support centre. 
Hi, I'm Miss Gill. I'm the Senior Vice Principal at Brunkworth Academy. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all over the next few evenings at our Meet Us event. So in September, your school day will look like this. You will have six periods a day. So every day, six periods, starting the day with your registration period. And there are different break times and lunch times. So you could be on break A, which is 10.50 till 11.10, or you could be on break B, which is 11.40 till 12 o'clock. And then we also have a split lunch as well, so 12.50 till 1.20 or 1.40 till 2.10. The curriculum for you next year is really, really exciting. We do have a big focus on core subjects, so that's your maths, English and science. Um, and so we have quite a lot of those lessons on your curriculum. So if we just look at this now, you can see that we've got five lessons of English, five lessons of maths and five lessons of science. But alongside that, we've also got a real wide range of other subjects that I'm really ho hoping that you're looking forward to learning about. So history and geography, modern foreign languages, which I'll talk to you more about in a moment, computing, RE, drama, music, PE, citizenship, and then two lessons of art as well. So you've got a real range of different subjects that then ultimately you can choose from by the time you get to year nine and see what you want to continue with into your GCSEs. So talking a little bit more about modern foreign languages, because this is something that's really, really important in our academy. Um, and students at our school in year seven and year eight study either French or Spanish. Now this will be randomly allocated to you which subject it is going to be that you will study. Um, if, however, you've got a particular preference, please do let us know, um, let a member of staff know when you are with us at our Meet Us event over the next few evenings and we will make a note of that. Measuring your progress and achievement is the most important part of my job. Okay? And we do this regularly throughout the year. So we will report to students and parents and carers um, throughout the year and we will talk about things called ATELs, which are the attitude to education levels, and A tests, which are the attitude to education focus. So our first assessment point, we will report on the ATEL and A test and the target. At the second assessment point, we'll give you all that information again, but updated, but also give you a current working level for maths, English and science. And then in our final assessment point of the year, we will give you all of that information for all of the subjects. So you get that current working level across all of those subjects that we just talked about. All of this gets reported, as I've said, and then ultimately it's really important information for our teachers then to use to build on so that you can do exceptionally well whilst with us at Brunkworth Academy. Hi, my name is Susan Brennan, I'm one of the assistant principals here at Brunkworth Academy, and I'm going to talk to you today about our behaviour expectations when you join us at Brunkworth. So our behaviour expectations um, all make up what we call our positive discipline policy and this is a system that underpins everything that we do in school. It's a really, really good system that's really well understood by all of our staff and students across school and you will come to understand this system really, really well as well. We seek to apply it consistently and fairly so that you know exactly what we expect of you in school every day. But one of the main things that you need to be aware of is that we have a rule that is first time every time. This is really, really important. So if, we, if any member of staff in school gives you an instruction, we expect that you follow that first time every time. And the reason that we have that is obviously because we want to keep everybody safe in school. One of the really important parts of our positive discipline policy is our planet. And when you join us at Brunkliffe Academy, we'll, you'll get given um, your planet. And it's really, really important that you bring your planner with you every single day to school because this is our main form of contact between home and school. But also it's really important because this is where you will collect all of your stamps, which equal credits. So when you're in lessons and you do something really good, you give a really good contribution or your behaviour around school is noticed by a member of staff, they will uh, give you a stamp to reward you um, for that good behaviour. If anything goes wrong in school, we will use this box here to note down a comment. And that is just a reminder to you that whatever you've done doesn't quite meet our expectations and that you need to change that behaviour. And obviously then your parents will also be able to see this as well. If in the very rare circumstance that you got nine comments in a week and filled this box, then you would be given another sanction. You'd be issued with an isolation. And obviously that's something that we really don't want to happen. So that's why we've got these boxes here to remind you that you might need to improve your behaviour throughout the week. It's really, really important, as I said, that this is a communication tool between home and school. So there is a space here for parents to sign 
every week to say that they've read their planner, they've seen all the amazing stuff that children have done and all the stamps that they've collected, and they've seen, if anywhere, that children need to improve their behaviour for next week. As I said, the planner is really, really important, so you must take pride in it, look after it really, really well, keep it neat, always close it before you put it in your bag so that it's kept really like, neat and tidy, and do not graffiti or doodle at all in your planner. These are what we call our positive discipline pyramids. You'll be able to find them in your planet and you'll also see them in every single classroom you're in in school. You'll see them all around school as well. And these pyramids show what we expect from you uh, in school. And you can just be able to follow them up. We also have um, scrolls in all of the classrooms with all the rules on as well. We will go through those with you and your members of staff tonight will explain those with you and explain if anything does go wrong in school, what the sanction would be and how those, um, those work. So if you've got any questions about those, then just ask tonight. And then these are our, this is our rewards pyramid. So right at the center of our positive discipline policy is rewards. We absolutely love rewarding students and letting them know that they've got it right. And as I said already, you will collect stamps and stamps equal credits. And as you collect those throughout the year, you will then get um, different certificates and different levels of certificates. And at the end of each year, we will reward our students depending on how many credits they've achieved. So there'll be a prize presentation evening um, and there will also be a reward trip that you'll be eligible um, to go on uh, depending on how many stamps you've got. And of course, making sure that your behaviour has always met our expectations so you've not served any time in isolation. Uniform. This is one of the really exciting bits about starting a new school, getting your new uniform. So I'm sure a lot of you have already started to look at this. We are really, really proud of our uniform and we expect you to wear that uniform with pride and to wear it correctly at all times. Obviously part of our uniform is a clean work shirt and that needs to be uh, worn with our top button done up at all times. So when you're trying on your uniform over the holidays, just make sure that you can do up that top button really comfortably. Our jumpers need to be kept in uh, good condition um, and um, our tie will be in a house colour and again that needs to be tied correctly, it needs to be the right length and the right width. So again, you might want to practice tying your tie over the holidays. Uh, shoes need to be formal, black leather or leather type. They need to be below, below the ankle, no logos, and it needs to be a complete black sole um, as well. I'm sure you're already really used to this as well, but if you can, name all of your uniform just to obviously um, protect it in case it does get lost. Again, if you've got any questions around uniform, your member of staff that you're going to speak to tonight will go into this in more detail with you. So just some key points for me um, to um, remember for September, because I know that obviously you're getting a lot of information. We don't expect you to remember everything. We will go through it with you again um, in September and we'll give you plenty of reminders to help you get it right, so please don't worry. Um, just a couple of things that you might already sort of be aware of or might have questions around. Um, we have a really strict no mobile phone policy in school. Obviously, we understand that you might want to send your child with a mobile phone on their way to or from uh, the academy, but as long as they've switched that off and placed it in their bag before they enter the academy, that's absolutely fine. Um, haircuts, we don't really mind what length your child's hair is, um, but please don't have patterns or lines um, cut into it. And hair colours need to be natural in colour. So uh, no dip dyes or anything like that, please. Uh, trousers, so our school uniform is trousers for, um, for everybody and can we please ensure that these are not tight fitting. If they are tight fitting we will ask you to replace them so please, please ensure they are not too tight. And then earrings, we allow one small gold or silver stud in each ear but then that's it, no further piercings after than that please. Okay.